Hi, I'm Matt from hockeyreviews.ca and this is a video, um, an eventing kind of video, ranting, however you like it, uh, about why I think CCM is actually really disappointing in their goalie market and department and why I feel like they're kind of stagnating their development instead of building something truly unique and awesome or at least pushing the boundaries and making something like modern. I feel like CCM has to be dragged through like times to upgrade their things and they're kind of always lagging behind. Um, it can be seen in their pads where finally their pads are lighter than other companies or close to the same weight. And it took like three generations or two gen three generations. Um, they the, like the sliding material they use, which is like the speed skin. Uh, it took, it was basically, a, I think a, a fe I feel like it was a reaction to the core tech from Bauer and Primo from Brian's and these companies come out with this new slide tech and CCM kind of scrambled and found this material and started using it. Um, I don't think, so I don't think that was actually ever used to slide well. And the reason being, or ever designed to have actually be used for this, the reason being it came out with the Eflex 1 street hockey set. So the Eflex 100 set has this speed skin material as the entire thing. So instead of the leather like, or Gen Pro material, it is a speed skin. And I believe the reason they do that is it does seem thinner than normal Gen Pro. I, maybe it's the same, it, it feels thinner to the, like, it feels like uh, it's like more malleable type thing. I'm not sure the reason using it. I don't think a company would put that material on street hockey gear first and then bring it to ice hockey. I think if it had the benefits that they say it does and if it for the reasons it would have been on the hockey stuff right away especially on the pros to demo that stuff and to try it out which we haven't seen so that's really disappointing to me i think it's kind of false i believe it was just kind of uh oh we have this material throw it on there um i do like that they're trying different materials but i don't think it was ever used or designed or selected for what they said it was and i think it's a bit disingenuous um them saying it was built for like slide with speed, it's built to be faster speed sliding. And it was built for this when it was on the street hockey stuff first. Unfortunately, I don't have a street hockey blocker or a thing to show right here. Um, so I'll overlay a picture of that and show that. Now, one thing um, I had issues with Bauer in the past that they never shared tech between one line and the other, and they still kind of don't, they still kind of separate it. But Bauer at least is using their player tech on their goalie stuff. Now, there's a lot more. I feel like there's a lot more research that kind of goes into the player gear, like research and development, especially pushing stuff forward. And so there's a lot more players than our goalies, right? So it kind of makes sense. Bauer has done some cool stuff with goalie things in the, now using curve composite, which we'll show here, using curve composite, using their aerolite foams, which can be all found throughout their pads and th throughout their player gear too. CCM could do the same thing, but they don't. And that really bothers me because um, I feel like their equipment could be better than it currently is. And it could be kind of equivalent to other companies, but they don't do it. And I feel like they're too afraid to get out of their core. Like I know they sell a ton of goalie gear, but I feel like they're too afraid to lose their like niche and the people who really like their stuff from trying new things. And that, I find a lot of people who I've talked to personally who liked, who really like CCM gear, it's because they've used it in the past and they've stuck with it and they haven't really tried much others. Now, I, I, I know there's people out there and you might be one of those people that have used everything and just fall back to CCM gear. That's fine. Every Everybody has specific preferences and, by, and CCM gear is really unique in the way that it fits and the way that it feels on your body. I feel like nothing else comes close to it. Um, it's like that LeFerve design. They, they have something unique. People really like it and they do good things. Now, CCM did do some good stuff with this, with like the blocker, how it has that D3O in there and how like this is nice and curved and padded. It's great. And I really love this strap. So stuff like that, CCM is doing pretty good, but I feel like they're really lacking behind in kind of everything else and they don't really want to do it. Maybe when this video will be totally irrelevant once the Axis line comes out. I haven't seen it because I don't get that privilege and honestly, CCM doesn't really like me anyways. So I don't know what that's going to be. Maybe this video again will be useless and all these things I'm talking about will be incorporated in the Axis line. They removed, they got, are going away from the Premier line and they're revamping stuff. So maybe that's the case. Now we'll start with the blocker. And I guess this goes through all of it because you could reuse this tech. Now this blocker 
is one of the softer rebounding blockers I've ever worn. And that disappoints me because I think blockers should have huge kickouts. Um, just because if you can't always punch it, it'll be harder for the opponents to grab if it's a bigger rebound type thing. Um, Bauer uses curve, like I mentioned before. Vaughn uses a composite. Companies just use thick plastics. I, while you could just increase the plastic on this blocker, I feel like they could go one more step. So curve is Bauer's player skate material. That's like their carbon fiber. It's like a plastic composite polymer thing. Um, CCM has started using it on their player gear. So this is their RFM composite on their elbow pads. It is on, I think the FT one line, it's on a bunch of stuff. This is supposed the same material from their FT, their jet speed skates. This could be used in this blocker board. Now, obviously not this version cause it's too soft. Um, but you could make it thicker and you can make it stronger, put in that blocker board, give you bigger rebounds, put it in the sideboard like Bauer does to make this stiffer, to make it harder. We should also lighten it up as well because composite can be lighter than plastics and foams. But that's like a big thing I think they should do. Put this in their goalie pads. The premier or axis line is your stiff, your stiff butterfly big rebounds. The foam does not work, compared, especially compared to the vapors and Bauer's that the foam that in the premieres is hilarious in my experience hilariously bad for rebounds compared to bowers and even who like my jrz it was way worse than that so that's disappointing put this in there put it on the face kind of like ccm does or sorry kind of like bower does um give bigger rebounds through this use this composite material you can use it to stiffen up your pads if you have to but they're stiff pads anyway so it's one of the good nice thing about ccm but use this they don't use it. Like this can be the new cuff instead of the, the one piece plastic cuff, use this material for reinforcement. They don't use that at all. And again, that's super disappointing to me and I wish they did. Um, another thing is, so we'll show two of these things off and I, let me grab the pad to show where I want, where I think this stuff should kind of go. Okay, so we have the back of the pad. Let's spin this around so it's easy for me to look at. So, um, Bauer uses, and let's grab the Bauer one too, just to be super annoying. Bauer uses their Aerolite foam on the back here, and they use their TAC, or sorry, Supreme, like armor on the back of their pads as well. They also use their Thermal Core. This was 37.5 right here. Now it's Thermal Core um, on the inside. It's supposed to be moisture wickening, sweat dealing, stuff like that. Now, this is like, oh, copy Bauer type thing, but I think they should because CCM and Bauer have something that the other pad companies don't have is that they have, well, I guess Warrior technically does, but they have materials they use for the player gear that they can transition over to the goalie stuff and make really good products. Um, and I really wish they'd do that. So if we look at, this is the FT2, sorry, FT1 elbow pad. So it's like their most recent materials. And this is like their dry foam. You could use this as a liner. Instead of this liner, you use the dry foam. Um, you use it everywhere else. I like how it's slip, like slippery. Use it in all their player stuff. This is an older version, so it had a different version of it. Um, you, you use it in all your player stuff. Use it in your goalie stuff. You have this as the like, op opportunity to do it. Why wouldn't you use it? Um, I like materials like this, and if you can make it moist or antimicrobial, even better. The other thing is this foam could be this foam. Um, so these, this is you, it's called U foam. This was on the RBZ line. This has been around in shoulder pads for years now. I'm going to say about six years, maybe this is a very, very popular shoulder pad in uh, NHL players. Um, it's not the most protective thing for shoulder pads, but for a foam like right here, it would be like, why not? You could use it on both sides. You wouldn't even um, like, Instead, you wouldn't even have to use this liner here. You could just use this on both sides. It's a closed cell foam, so it's not supposed to intake sweat. Put it on both sides. It won't really wear because it's designed to not like fall apart and stuff like that. Put it here, put it on the inside. You're golden, why not? Um, and like stuff like this is where CCM is just not, like they're not using it. Oh, they're, they're goalie chest protector. The, the new version for this year that came out with the E-Flex 4s is the Premier. It's called the Premier LE. And the LE 
I don't know, normally the LE is for limited edition, so they do different colors. This one was a whole new line this year called the LE, and it's identical to the one that came out during the E-Flex 3, so two years ago. It's only a color change. That's all they did was change the colors. So CCM not changing their shoulder pads and their pants is also kind of, or for goalie stuff, like their chest protector, is also on par with CCM not having all the new form-fitting stuff ready for NHL players. It's why you saw a ton of NHL players like Mike Smith, Brayden Holpe, go to Kaneski's and other brands and now make Franken chest protectors to get the protection they need because CCM was just too far behind and they were kind of, like they're behind the ball on the new regulations. I feel like that's what they did for this line. They just kind of threw it out there. They're like, oh, that's it. We're not doing anything this time. And that's really disappointing to me. I'm seeing some, like on the, the E-Flex Shield lines, you are seeing some nice use of foams. Like they had the Adiprene, which was an Adidas foam, which I'm assuming they're not gonna use anymore since CCM isn't owned by Adidas. Um, but they had some nice things like that. But why aren't you using U-Foam? Like U-Foam should be on the arms or it should be um, on the chest. This material should be in the arms instead of plastic. Like use that. Mon's doing that. Bauer's doing that. Like everyone is using carbon for like, instead of plastics on the arms. Warrior started it. so. CCM has the ability to do that and go there and they don't. And they also have the ability to make like this liner, moisture wicking liners on their chest and pants. And like, it's frustrating to me when I see products that could be way better, but it's either they're holding it for future generations and it's already in the product cycle, which I mean is fair. It does take time to develop stuff or they're just too afraid to move forward and push forward and push the envelope and try something new. And like, to me, that's disappointing because I see the potential in these, like how light these are. I see potential and I can just see them. I feel like they're squandering it away because of some, some weird reason. And I super disappointing to me. And it's why I'm really disappointed in this line and kind of like what CCM has been doing. Um, another point of criticism I'm going to make is their accessories. They did update their jock this year. So I'll give them credit for that because it's much better than the old one. Um, but their knee pads are the basically the same knee pads they've had for quite a while now. And I mean, if you have a good knee pad and it's not broke, don't fix it. I'm, I'm okay with that. It's kind of what they've been doing with their goalie gear, but at the same time, like everyone else is surpassing them. So that's why I think they should really move on to that next thing. Um, this is my favorite knee pad on the market. It's what I recommend people all the time. I did a review on it. And generally when people use these, they like them. And it's basically the best all around knee pad. Now, CCM's knee pads have that giant bulky one that something KP Pro, I think. Fine, but it has like rivets on it and people always tell me the screws or rivets always fall out and they always have to fix them. Well, like, come on, you've known that for like three generations now and you keep doing it. And then their other one, like the step down one is like their old Reebok, like the Reebok Pro one with the plastic cap, which um, I think the Coho, the crazy Coho ones kind of were inspired by that and kind of made them bigger. Um, but like that's been around forever, not really changing, nothing's different. You have this material everywhere. Why aren't you using it? Like the reason these are awesome is because this is curved and then you have like a decent knee pad everywhere, like a mediocre knee pad everywhere else, but with this curved shield and it fits well and it holds up well. Now, the CCM not have all of this material or better on this elbow pad curve here. You have this nice foam. I would love this foam on like in here. You could put D three O in there for the landing area or D three O light. I would prefer cause it's a bit softer. Like you have, or like even just these foams, you have all these abilities to make something like this, but better, but you keep putting out the same product with slight changes to the graphics, and like so minimal changes. doesn't really do anything instead of actually making a really good product. I would, if CCM made a knee pad that was U-foam basically throughout, but a little bit thicker, like a thick with padding still, cause these are like more of a direct hit protective with a like basically gripped knee like this with a composite outer shell right here with D3 o light on the knee right here and right here, I would buy them in a heartbeat. And I don't understand why they're not doing this. Like, I feel like this is if I like got a job at designing for like CCM, I would just grab that stuff, go into a workshop, put it all together, like tape it together and be like, hey, well, let's try this. And I feel like they're either not allowing people that like designers to do that and be creative or no one there wants to be creative and wants to keep doing the same thing, which I doubt because usually designers are pretty, let's try things. 
Um, so that's like really disappointing to me and why CCM as a whole for their goalie line is extremely, extremely disappointing to me as someone who likes to see things change and, and like try new things and stuff like that. And by all means, like CCM has the ability to keep their old stuff too. You have the Retroflex line, you have the, the E-Flex line, you have the Premier Now Access line. So why don't you make the Premier line your like new tech, all trying this all new stuff line and push boundaries. Keep the E-Flex the way it is. You can still get a stiff pad with E-Flex, your rebounds will just be softer. But Premier's rebounds aren't amazing, but they are obviously bigger than E-Flex. And that, or just keep Retroflex to be that one pad that's old school for those people that want it. And then do something different, do something unique, do something pushing the boundaries, trying something. I like CCM deserves a ton of credit for this pad because of how light it is and how stiff the core is. No one else, well, Bauer, but Bauer doesn't have soft rebounds like CCM does and CCM managed that with this pad and this pad's lighter than my Bauer pad. So that's very impressive and they deserve credit for that. I wanna see innovation and changing and to make things like different and better. Um, and I feel like CCM doesn't do that and it's super disappointing. That is about it for this rant. I'm curious what you think about it. Um, I don't think everyone has to change and do some crazy stuff. I just think CCM is really lagging behind. It takes forever. Oh, sorry. One more thing before I forget. CCM's goalie skates. Right now, the FT1, sorry, FT2 is the first CCM goalie skate with a cowlingless design. Bauer has been out with a cowlingless design since the 1S. We're now on the 2S and then we're on the, so we're at four years, I think, for Bauer and CCM just came out with an FT2. And their last year, their tax, they said, oh, you don't need the cowling list because ours have the, the great attack angle, just as good as the attack angle. Now they're advertising how great the attack angle is on the cowling list skate. So that, that bothers me too. I get it that you have that marketing, but it's like when Google was making fun of Apple for removing the headphone jack, and then the next year Google removed the headphone jack. So it's like, don't, like that, that bothers me from a personal standpoint, but at the same time, like, you can do better and I'm, I hope the axes are better and I hope you have something better to bring to the table. Regardless, your stuff's gonna sell because it says CCM and carry prices on it. Um, and a bunch of NHL goalies use it and people love your gear by all means and that's okay. But I wanna see you pushing something and you changing something and you being ahead of the curve for once instead of years behind. Um, I, one more thing, cause I keep remembering them. So Bauer used to do stick launches every year. So they'd have like a two S and then they'd have a 2019 two S and it was super annoying. Bauer went back to two year cycles, at least right now for sticks. So a stick comes out, it lasts a year version. CCM went back to, or kind of was a one year thing. And then they went, or sorry, two year thing. Then they went back, went to a one year thing like Bauer. So then it was like the trigger two came out. Then the trigger three came out next year. And then trigger four is this year. They're doing it, it's it's too much. Like allow your stuff to grow and allow it to change. The other thing too is, so CCM's next player skate is called the AS3 Pro. What happened to the AS2s? They don't exist. Because the stick probably, and I'm assuming this is the marketing reason, the AS, uh, the stick that will be out next year for the tax will be the AS3 Pro. Where the current one, is the AS1 because the AS2 Pro isn't out yet. So it's like, stop, just, you guys can do so much, so much awesome things and you're just, please do it. And I'm looking forward to seeing it. Anyways, that's about it for this very long winded rant. Uh, if you listened through the whole thing, I apologize, but thank you. And please let me know what you think in the comments. Remember, I'm not saying gear is bad, like this gear is bad. I think it could be better and that's really disappointing. Remember that I always try to push things to like I always try to push for things that are better. Like these aren't the best knee pad. Well, okay, they're the best overall knee pads, but they should have pour on in here to make the landing softer. Why don't they do that? I don't know, they should. Um, anyways, thank you very much for watching. Leave a comment, tell me what you think, or tell me I'm a Bauer fanboy, but I'm really not. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Remember just like this video or dislike it, subscribe to me on YouTube, hit the bell icon so you get notifications when I do videos. Um, follow me on Twitter, Instagram. I do small little clips. Like for example, you would have seen that. I think you would have seen that 
speed scan on the blocker on that Instagram account before um, and stuff like that. So you'll see small clips that aren't really, or and pictures that aren't really big enough for YouTube, but are on there. Um, and I think are interesting. And th thank you very much for watching. Take it easy and let's hope the access line actually changes something.